Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Tinco iFloor 3 Breeze Mop and Vacuum. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about machine, then we're actually going to clean up some really big messes on the floor. So it does have a tray that you use for self-cleaning and storing it. And we do have this charging cable, so we got to plug this into the wall outlet, and when we're, then we're going to plug this into the Tinco. Now right here is the charging port, there's where you're going to plug it in. So here's your charging indicator. That's going to breathe slowly blue as it's charging. Then once it's fully charged, it'll go, it'll go solid blue. After a couple minutes, then it turns off. That's how you know it's fully charged. Up here on the handle, it's very easy to uh, turn on. You're going to simply turn this button on. And then we got two modes of operation. We've got like a low and a high. This is max water flow. And you're going to know by, that by this light. So right now the light is on solid. That means we're kind of in normal mode. If I hit this button, it'll go to max liquid. You have the same amount of suction, but it's gonna put down twice the amount of liquid. Hit it again, it goes back to normal. In this mode, it's gonna put down the liquid and have suction all automatically. Okay, so here we've got a dirty water tank. When this fills up, you're simply gonna open it up. We got a filter once in a while that we have to change, but you're gonna lift this up, empty everything out, put this back, now you do get an extra foam filter on the back here. You're gonna open it up here like this. And then you can put the extra foam filter. So you're gonna rinse these out once in a while and then you have to let them dry overnight. Okay, put your foam filter back in. This kind of goes in at an angle. Once in a while you do have to kind of clean that area out right there, tilt it and snap it in. This is the clean water tank. So you're gonna press this button and fill this up. This is where we're gonna put the solution and water. So you're gonna lift it up, we're gonna fill it up here, and then put one cap full of solution. Okay, here I got it filled up with water. Now it says to add one cap full of the Tinco cleaning and solution, deodorizing. Take one cap, pour it in. Okay, make sure you put this down. Okay, now you're gonna install it up here, just kinda of sit it there, rotate it until it snaps. So down here it does have, you can open this up. Once in a while you do have to clean out this roller. It does have a self-cleaning cycle, which I'm gonna show you how to do that when we're all done. Open this up, and then you, it does come with an extra roller, then you can put the other roller in there. Just kind of find that gear. We're gonna put it like that, put the gear in, and just kind of snap that in. There's two ears right here. Line up those ears, and that should snap in. Okay, so I got a really big mess here. We got some cereal, milk, an egg, chocolate, and some ketchup. Let's see how it does. I'm gonna turn it on max liquid. Kick it over, turn it on. Now I'm gonna go to maximum liquid. So it's putting the solution down. All I'm doing is moving the handle. All right, it did a really good job. Let's try this. Wow, it's getting that ketchup. Now let's go to the milk. It's got lots of big chunks. Wow, that did a really good job. I got some here behind it. I'll go ahead and pick those up. Now I'm just gonna go over it. It's putting solution down and vacuum all at the same time. I can get right up next to the wall. That's pretty impressive how well it did. Now let's empty that out and do a self-clean. If this was really full, I'd have to empty it out first, but let's do a self-cleaning cycle first. Okay, so one thing, in order for the self-cleaning cycle to work, you gotta have two things, on the tray, and you gotta have it charging. I was trying to do the self-cleaning without it charging, it will not do the self-cleaning. So, it's on the tray, it's charging, now you simply press this button for three seconds, and it will do the self-cleaning cycle. It takes a little bit longer than three seconds, about four or five seconds, you're just gonna hold that button in, then this light will turn solid, and now the self-cleaning cycle starts. It's gonna squirt some solution on that roller and then suck it up into it. So you do have to make sure you've got plenty of solution and plenty of room. All right, there it goes. So it's gonna turn that suction on and off a couple times. Okay, so it turned it on again. And what it does is it, it puts a bunch of solution around the roller and then it turns the solution on. Okay, so my, I had my tank too full. That thing came up and it's cutting off the suction. So now the, I gotta do another, I gotta empty this and do another self-cleaning cycle. 
So it's very easy. You're just simply going to lift this up. It does have a little uh, thing here that you do have to get this, the big chunks off of, but you're going to wash this out, get this all nice and clean. It's very, very easy to do. I can take this little screen off if I have to. Now you do get some stuff up underneath there. Let's see how the filter did. Yeah, filter's pretty good. I can still use it. Okay, I emptied the tank, I put it back on, and I started enough, another self-cleaning cycle. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna put a bunch of solution on the roller, and then it's gonna suck it up. Well, here's the first one. There's the second one. Okay, so that takes almost two minutes. Again, you'd have to have quite a bit of solution in order for it to do it. That's about how much room, because I emptied that. So you have to have quite a bit of room when you want to do a self-cleaning cycle. Again, very easy. Take this over there, empty it out. Let's see how the brush roller did. Yeah, it looks like it did a good job. Yeah, all of this area is nice and clean. So the self-cleaning cycle did a good job. I just forgot that you have to have it plugged in and charging. So here are some of the specs on it. It's 4,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. It says it has a runtime of 20 minutes. It does take four to five hours to charge it. So when you're all done with it, this is how you're gonna let it sit. You're gonna let it sit in the station. You're gonna have the charging hooked up to it and that way it's ready to go. So right now the Tenco retails for about $230. I am gonna do a comparison with the Shark HydroVac. So Tenco, I really do like Tenco though. And I like Shark. So this is one of their cheaper models, and the more you upgrade, you're going to like the upgrades. So you get a bigger tank solution, you get a, a little bit bigger tank for dirty water. You'll get a base that does the charging, that way you don't have to have this cord plugged into the back there. And you get a few more auto features. I've got the, I've got the S7 Blue Tenco, and I really do like it. It's got a lot of upgrades, and then the newer, the, the more modern ones will start talking to you, which it'll, t these... This one won't tell you when your water tank is empty or when your solution tank's getting full. So the newer ones will talk to you and give you indications of that. But this one does a very good job. I love the automatic feature. There's no, there's no trigger to pull. It, it's automatically, when you turn it on, it puts solution down. And then I can put it into a maximum solution. That way it puts more solution if you got a really stubborn mess. But it's all automatic. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. That helps out my YouTube channel. I will put a link to this in the show description notes. Check out my other videos where I've been doing spot cleaners. Bissell's got some brand new spot cleaners. The, the cordless, the hydro steam, and the shark stain strikers. Thanks everybody for watching. Miss Fiona's watching me from the window. She knows I'm in the basement and once in.